My name is Aaron Kucharski. As you know, I always hunt for the Marios. And this is a garage sale episode. Uh, there probably won't be any garage sales, or it'll, it'll actually be a game hunting episode. Let's go hunt for some games. Uh, this is going to be an exciting week, because this is the beginning of Mario Palooza, or whatever you want to call it. We're out looking for the Marios. And I will see you guys in a second at the next stop. Just stopped actually at a pawn shop. Value Pawn, uh, they didn't have anything, so we're going to go head on over to the next stop, and I'll see you there. Woo! Just stopped back at that Goodwill. Um, they didn't have anything, but we're heading up. There's a few more. There's a couple more pawn shops up this way. We're going to head up, and we're going to go head on out to another, another little area, and I will see you guys when we get there. Woo! So, $2 each on the complete games. And then I got some discs for 50 cents a piece. Max Payne 3. Far Cry 3. I mean, some of these I probably didn't even need, but Walking Dead, this one was worth paying the two, two bones for. Same thing with this one. A lot of these, I'm good. Worst case scenario, like most resellers will pay $2 a piece. Uh, most Wanted. We have Enemy Front. We have Hitman. I know that's got a $5 game sticker on, so this one was probably paid, overpaid on. But then here we got for discs. I paid $0.50 cents a piece for these. We have Halo to the Reach. We have Black Ops to the 3. We have Call of Duty World at War. And last but not least... By the way, I paid less than 20 for everything here. This one disc is actually in pretty good shape. It is in good shape, ladies and germs. Um, this game will sell for anywhere from $20 to $30, even for just the disc. It is. Mario Party 8! So, yeah. Mario Party 8. It's the bee's knees. There it is. There it is. There it is. Mario Party 8, baby. So, this is why we do what we do. And I'll see you guys at that next stop woo so um i just bought five big bundles of dvds in stacks they're in stacks of like 10 to 15 and each stack has like like this one the top movie is captain america captain america i could sell for two dollars i know i can get two dollars for that you know or even a buck. It doesn't matter because each stack. Can you, here, here, you, you can see better here. A dollar. A dollar. 14 movies for a dollar. 10 movies for a dollar would be 10 cents a piece. Um, so it's less than 10 cents a piece. And even the low balls I've been getting from the pawn shops when I go to sell them all the movies I got is a quarter a piece. So these are great items to sell at a flea market booth. Uh, cashed out Robin Hood for 60 times DVDs. Well, no, I saw them. I probably should have just left them, but whatever. Behind the scheme footage, yes. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Uh, um, if you guys didn't know, I'm live over there on my phone. But anywho, I'll see you guys at, at the next stop. I'm out. Woo! So there was a TV show back in the day called Get Smart. I used to watch, watch it. I used to watch TV Land a lot. And, so, I Love Lucy, Get Smart, all these old shows, All in the Family, whatever. Um, either way, I didn't know this existed till just now. It's called The Nude Bomb, and it's Don Adams' Agent 86, and it says the original Get Smart movie. So, I do want to check this out. And that's the only reason I bought it. So, nothing else here. All their games sold a while ago. Anyway, let's head to that next stop. No. Woo! Just stopped at that pawn shop right over there. Did not find anything. I'm going to keep looking and I'll see you guys in a second. Whoa. I know I said I was getting out of the, the movie game, but I picked up these for... These were cheap enough. Man of Steel. 
Green Lantern, Captain America, Captain America, Marvel's Avengers, X-Men, Mortal Kombat, um, Blu-ray, these are all Blu-rays, that's why I bought Mortal Kombat, you know, DVDs, I'm trying to get rid of, but if I see decent, decent Blu-rays, maybe, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going, anyway, I'll see you guys, uh, this is probably going to be the last clip for today, but, because I'm hunting now, I'm going to be out again tomorrow, so we'll look up some more stuff tomorrow, I'll see you guys in a second, woo! Greetings, everybody. Um, it is the end of the day. I know normally I do a regular recap, but I know that kind of gets a little redundant. I did go to the auction um, tonight, and instead of filming from inside the auction, what I decided I was going to do is I just picked up whatever I bought, and I'm going to show you guys now what I have. So, let's take a look. I got a bunch of DS chargers and 3D uh, Game Boy cases. This lot, I got the Paw Patrol. Oh, of course, Burger King. Get out of the way. I got Paw Patrol. I got the five chargers. I got those. And I got a bunch of these little bricks. I bought it for these. I got five chargers. Four 3DS chargers and a DS Lite charger. This was a bonus. Josh wants this. I might give it to him. Who knows? Um, but anyways, it was $10 for that whole entire lot. Then this lot over here was also $10. Oh, actually, this this was in that lot, too. And actually, if you look on the side, it says um, Nintendo. It says Nintendo. So there it is. Um, come on. But yeah, Nintendo. Anywho. So then these these were $10 for one, two, three, four, for seven games. But this is a 10 by itself. And the big find in here, because I spent 100 and um, some odd dollars. It was less than 200 now you're probably like, but that's just Meet the Robinsons and Wego Chimi, and then Puppies, and then Care Bear, Build a Bear, Spore, I mean Ben 10 maybe, Call of Duty, Sims. Where are the good games? There's Brain Age. Why would you? Why would you pay for every six games? It ended up being about 20 bucks. So that's like three dollars a game. You're like, but 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 there must have been good stuffs. You wouldn't have just bought trash. Well, over here we have Metroid Hunters, Toy Story 3, Pac-Man World 3, Mystery Dungeon, Sonic Rush, Plants vs. Zombies, Scooby-Doo, Who's Watching Who? Then up here we have Dragon Ball Z, Attack of the Saiyans. That is a $50 hauler. Then we have not one but two copies of new of Mario Brothers DS. Then we have not one but two copies of um, of Mario Party on the DS. Those those Mario's there are like fifteen to twenty each. You got you got the the baby right there. Then you got uh, Mario Kart on the DS. Then we have not one copy of New Super Mario Brothers. We have not two copy of Super Mario Brothers. We have not three copy of New Super Mario Brothers, but we have four copy of New Super Mario Brothers. So let's just see. We got 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, and then, well, that's the bad boy right there. Two. You know, so all of that, all of that, all of that, and all of those, and that from the auction. Everything was less than two hundo. Um, DS games for the win. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. Because guess what? We don't only go garage selling on Fridays anymore. We now go Saturday too. Because I left the market. So I'll see you tomorrow. Part 2. Day 2. Same video. It's going to be a long hunt video. Let's do it. Woo! Greetings everybody. It is Saturday. Day two in this uh, garage sale hunt video. Let's go see if we can find something. It has been raining, um, which is why I didn't get up as early as I wanted to. Uh, hopefully next weekend, or hopefully some some weekend soon, uh, there won't be rain, and I'll be able to get up er way earlier than this. But uh, anywho, let's go look for some stuff. Whoa. Greetings, everybody. It's obviously day two. I already said that. I don't know why I'm refilming an opening clip, but anyway, just stopped the value pod back there. Um, 
and didn't find anything. They had some stuff in there, but I didn't bother asking because that place is kind of high. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys in a second at my next stop. Oh, whoa. So I just stopped at Pond Max. I know you can't really see the sign, but I stopped at Pond, at Pond Max in my area. And for $20, I got World of Final Fantasy Maxima. But that's not all. I got For Honor Marching Fire. These are Xbox One and PS4 games. We have Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We have Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, we have Wrestling 16. I don't normally like sport, sporty titles, but I always sell wrestling games. We have A Need for Speed Rivals. Need for Speed Rivals on the PS4. We have NASCAR Heat 5. This is at this one. I'm not sure if this is the newest NASCAR Heat, but it is definitely up there. Let me see if there's a date on the back of this. Uh, 2020. So it's fairly new. That's why I grabbed that one. And last but not least, we have The Walking Dead on Xbox One. So none of these are like new releases or nothing, but they had them in, in the $1 to $5 um, uh, bin. And I'm like, okay, well, eight games. How much? How, and I asked him, he says, 20 bucks. So that comes out to be like $2.50 a game. So whatever. Either way, that's good. That's good. That's good for Xbox One and PS4 stuff. You know, and I and there was a bunch of sport games that I probably could have got for a dollar, like Maddens and Fifas and all that. But I'm like, no, I'm just gonna stick with the ones that weren't sport games, and I got them for a little bit higher than the sport ones. But whatever, we're on our way to the next stop. I'll see you guys when we get there. Woo! Just stopped at the new mar marketplace. Oh, hold on a sec, guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a U-turn. This is the new why. Wow, New the old slash new wagon wheel. I'm gonna go turn around because I gotta go pick up some some cash. I decide last second I'm gonna go get some cash because it looks like there there might be a decent amount of stuff here. So I'm gonna go pick up some cash and then I'm gonna come right back and I'm gonna show you guys the, the flea market peoples. Woo! So I am walking around at what appears to be the new wagon wheel flea market and I'm gonna go take a peek and see if I could find anything and I'll let you guys know if I do. Sorry about not getting more footage. You guys did kind of see the live stream of this place anyway. I, I'm going to start coming out here more often to find video games. Um, I feel like I did score pretty decent today. Uh, I got a PS4 controller. I got a PlayStation 4 camera. I got a bunch of games. This was one of the highlights. King of Fighters 11 um, was in there. Ratchet and Clank is always a good series. Mortal Kombat, uh, Minecraft. Uh, Game Boy Advance pouch, some Nerf stuff, you know, I'm out here, I'm buying, I'm making purchases, and anyway, I will see you guys soon, I'll see you guys soon, got more stuff to go hunt down, woo. So, that is the new Mustang slash wagon wheel, uh, I know I didn't get a whole lot of footage, let me pull over here, maybe, it, maybe I can get you a couple, a couple glimpses from outside, I know I probably should have got more footage when I was there, but whatever, um, so here it is. There's boots all up and down. This side is the, the, the um, actual flea market side. The other side is the fruit and vegetable side. But uh, yeah, there it is. I'm going to go hunt for some more stuff. And I will see you guys soon. I just stopped at that garage sale right back there. I did not find anything. And we are on our way to our next stop. This is Brad from Coffee Break speaking. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's going to be my voice, you know. I haven't decided if I want to use, just use my regular voice or something. But uh, I will see you guys at the next stop. A woo. Just stopped at Goodwill over there. Did not find anything. So that was that. Uh, I am going to go a, a, a little bit more looking for stuff today. But I am gonna, I'm doing a live stream. I'm gonna end my live stream because I wanna have some stuff specifically for the YouTube video that's not live. That, that way they'll have to, you know, also watch my actual video. Anyway, uh, no stuff here at, at Goodwill, and I'll see you guys in a second. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Whoa. Greetings, everybody. I'm back at the store. Um, what a, what a weekend it has been. I did just do a trade with a friend of mine. Oh, 
Well, let me turn these back on. Uh, and I ended up getting this as part of the trade from him. It is a orange N64 controller. It is in really nice shape. You can't really see it in the light, but look, I can wobble it. That stick doesn't budge. So this is like at least 50, low end 50. I'm looking on eBay, they're going for 50 to 80. But the 50s seem to be um, lower condition quality ones, and 80 seems to be ones in really good shape. Anyway, so I got a deal from him. We did a trade. It was almost $200 worth of stuff. He did like 80, 80 cash, 80 trade or something like that. I forget what it came out to be. It was like a half and half. To, anyway, you saw everything I picked up. I showed it as I picked it up. I'm hoping to make these new versions of the garage sales a lot longer than the older ones. Same show, better wizard. Anywho, I'll be live streaming a lot of the sales as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm here to stay, baby. And I will see you guys next time for another garage sale episode. From the misadventures of the video game wizard, I'm signing off. I'm out. Woo. Well, guys, look at it. What once was America's greatest flea market is now a deserted wasteland. Long live the Wagon Wheel Flea Market in all of its splendor, in all of its glory, for what it once was. Rest in peace, Wagon Wheel Flea Market. And here's one good shot of the front. Buildings are still there. Lights still come on at nighttime. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's still up. It's been o it's been over two years now, and Wagon Wheel is still standing. Wagon Wheel has not fallen just yet, but it doesn't look like they're gonna reopen. So I just thought I'd throw this in as a little ending, a little ending clip. I'll see you guys next week. Okay.